Today we are going to make my black labs. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a black one made yet, but this is sort of like what it's gonna look like when it's done, like that, but in black. Okay, the items that I need is uh, press and seal. Press and seal is uh, commonly used in the kitchen. It's uh, inexpensive and you can get it on Amazon. I post the link below. Or you can get it at your grocery store. It's very, uh, very inexpensive and it does a great job. Then uh, we need some felt, which I have purchased through Living Felt. It's uh, already done. And I already prepared it and I cut it into a uh, more manageable strip. We need some uh, gold thread for the hanger. We need some black sewing thread to sew it together. And for the collar, I have some black suede stud trim from Merchant 41. And of course we need to have a little loop. Oh, well, there you go. We need to have a little loop uh, to put the gold cord so to hang it. I already have, oh, for the, for the, to stuff it, we have from Living Felt, black MC1 bag for stuffing. This works really, really, really great. Okay, so let's get started. This is my pattern that I already have made of my little little lab ornament. Okay, now as you can tell, I cannot trace with a black marker on black felt. So I've come up with, let's try this. So I purchased the press and seal, uh, cling wrap, sealing wrap, and I cut a little strip out of it. And then I just lay it over, over. first of all, you need to I ha double it up. Double it up, that way you only have to cut once. Okay, align them. Okay. Then you apply the press and seal and just press it on there. No ironing needed. There you go. It's already sitting there. Okay, then you just take the pattern, align it, and with a dark permanent marker or any other marker, pen, whatever, you just trace the outline like so. Real simple, just trace it. There you go, you can see the outline. We're gonna do another one, because we're gonna make two of them. Okay, there we go. Now we are going to, uh, well, I should have made that maybe a little bit shorter, so we're gonna cut this part off here. And these scissors don't wanna cut. Okay, we'll just pull it over. Okay. So you cut more manageable piece. And then I usually start at the head or the tail, whichever, but uh, I need to just start cutting. Just cut around the line.
Voila. I'm gonna put this aside for later. Okay, and here we are. All you gotta do is just pull it off and you're ready to go. Once you have the first one cut out, you already have one made up so you can uh, save yourself the time of having to trace them 15 damn times. Oh, I shouldn't say them. <laughs> okay, cut. Okay, you can reuse the first uh, press and seal cut out uh, from, from the first, from the first, uh, whatever. To make it a little bit easier, cut it a little bit to manageable size. We're gonna save this, this, this leftover for later. Uh, we're gonna have to cut the ears. But that's not until later. Okay, and now all you gotta do is just cut around it, just like we did the first one. It saves you on time, especially if you're making more than one. And these puppies are really, really popular on ornament, ornament exchanges, Lap lover gifts or you know, just for fun. Um, I had one lady, uh, she asked me to make a special one because I also make these guys with uh, names, dogs' names. And this lady, she's going to have her first grandson and she wanted to have their pet, she's gonna make a mobile. She was going to make a mobile for the baby's nursery and she wanted to incorporate their family pet into the mobile. I'll make sure that uh, this don't slide on you. So, um, so she uh, asked me if I could do that and uh, I did. Ah, okay, so well, this one's a little off, but okay. All right, pull it off. Let's set it aside and you can reuse it at a later time. And voila, here we have two. There are two now. Two. Huh? Two. I didn't video tape. Okay, the next step is we're going to thread a needle with some black thread. Regular black sewing thread. And we are going to start stitching it together. I usually I usually start uh, I usually start uh, at the at the hind leg and work my way all the way around till here because we're gonna have this little area here for later when we're going to stuff them. All right. So I'm going to uh, lift this leg up a little bit, stick it in there, and pull. Make sure the knot is tucked in so it won't stick out. Then I will stitch one time and put the needle through the loop. There, pull it tight. 
and this is oh need to be careful with the Oopsies. Get out of here. Yeah. I usually do this in the evenings and I sit there and watch TV comfy on the couch that's very relaxing for me so make sure that you don't look this up oh, oh oh and here we have a hidden videotape it okay I re-threaded another another uh, thread and I open I open it up and insert the needle where I pulled it off and then I will continue as before finishing going all the way around Okay, now I have my lab ornament completely stitched all the way around and I left a small opening where I begin to stuff them. Okay, taking a very small amount of the Living Felt MC1 batting, just a very small amount because we're gonna start at the tail and this is really, really tight to get in there. So we just take a little piece stick it in its belly and with the scissors carefully stuff the tail don't press too hard otherwise the scissors will come right through there and it will cut your your felt Another little piece. Get in there. Nice and tight. There you go. Nice. Okay. Then next, I do this hind paw hind leg, the paw of the hind leg, whatever. Um, gently work the stuffing or the wool. Gently take the wool and fill in the paw. Don't press too hard, otherwise the scissors will come right through there. That's not good. And will ruin your dog. Make sure you take small pieces uh, of of the wool because if you take if the piece is too thick, it won't look even. As you get to the
butt area, you can use a little bit more because you have a bigger opening. Just make sure that you don't have a gap in between there because if it's not in there nice and tight, his legs are gonna come like do this. You want them to be nice and solid. There you go. Okay, oh, this leg needs a little bit more. There you go. Okay, so then I'll go over to his muzzle. Again, take very small pieces because we have a very small area to get this wool packed in there. and tight. Okay, here we have the head. Now we're gonna go to the front leg. Take a little piece of the wool and just work it in there. Gently, gently. Put it in there. There you go. All right. And again, make sure that you get this area really tight, otherwise the leg's gonna be flimsy. You want it nice and tight. The nice thing about felt is that it does have a little give. So you can actually shape it a little bit too. There you go, we're almost there. Now see, I already got it wimpy, so I have to add a little bit more. Okay, is it tight now? Yep. All right. So, we're almost there. A little bit more. Okay. Don't overstuff him, otherwise he's going to look like a little blimpy. We don't want him to look a little blimpy. We want him nice and slender. There you go. A little bit more. Now he feels nice and solid. Okay, stuff it in there and just finish him off by just sewing this little 
piece that's left shut. There you go. A few more stitches. As you get to the end, as you get to the end, do a few, maybe two, three, maybe one more, and then just stick the needle through there, and it comes out up here, and there's that's how you secure it. Snip it off, and here he is. Okay, now the next step we're going to do is we're going to give him some ears. Okay, I have a small little pattern I made for his ear. I just used a regular piece of uh, cardstock. It's a little, it's not so flimsy, but uh, what I'll do is I will take from my leftover piece that I had from earlier, I cut a strip, small strip, and make it a little bit easier, cut another little strip like this, and then just cut around a tiny little ear. And my scissors, are, I need to get some better scissors. They're starting to um, be not so sharp anymore. I think I like this one better. Okay. So we have the second ear. These embroidery scissors, they're really, really good for these tiny little detailed pieces. Because they're really nice and sharp. And you can get Now we have two ears. Put your pattern aside. Ta -da. Okay, now. Okay. Just uh, take your ear and place it on the side of his head. So, and just so the ear, like two or three regular pull through stitches to get them attached to the head, and then continue around the ear with a blanket stitch. Okay, this time we are not going to put a knot in there. We're just gonna make sure that they're aligned even. Or 
pretty close to even. And take the dog and set it about here. And, up and pull it through. So it'll go in. And then you just gently, don't pull too hard, otherwise it's gonna go right through. There. And repeat several times to sew him a little nose. The needle, the finer, the finer, the, the because the needle is so fine, you will be able to get through there easier. If you took a regular needle, it would be too difficult to get that needle through that tiny little space on top of, on, on his nose. Well, we are starting to form a little nose here. It's taking shapes. I don't really know how many times, but you know, you know when it's, it looks like a nose and then it's right about right. Does it look like a nose yet? A little bit more. The, the black lab is a little bit more forgiving uh, with the nose because it kind of blends in. You're going to have a hard, harder time with the chocolate lab or the yellow lab because the felt ones do shine, look through. Okay, well, we're just about done here. Maybe one more stitch. Okay, one more stitch. Okay. And then here we got our little check glass, be uh, glass seed beads for his eyes. And you take the needle and you uh, right about uh, right about about here. Push it all the way through. Make sure it's kind of even. Come on. There you go. And pull a little tight. Put the other one. His ears are always in the way. Silly doggy. There you go. Do a few more. Back again. Okay, now we want to insert a needle where it comes out right about here. 
That's where we're gonna place the collar. I just, there you go. Size it up. Mm -hmm. That's two, four, six. Let's make it eight. You can always cut a little bit more also. If it's too short, then you waste the material. Okay, now this is going to be kind of difficult because this is a really, really dense material. Carefully try to get that needle through. It has some resistance, but if, once you get it through that, then it'll be all right. Put it around and go hold it tight. It, is, it will give you a, a lot of resistance. You're just gonna have to be careful. Don't rush it because if you press too hard, your needle will snap off because it's a very fine needle. And sometimes it takes several tries. Ah, oh, here he comes. There you go. All right. And then we go one more and then just And my fingers keep sliding, but that's normal. There it goes, you finally let go. Okay, there you go, pull it through, pull it tight, and cut off the... Okay, now the only thing left is add the... Uh, Anger. And here we go. And here's our finished black lab. And it's completely hand stitched.